everybody's inquiring about the boss sauce. How do I get the boss sauce? How do I do this? How do I do that? I'm going to give you the sauce. One time and one time only. Listen very carefully. The prices are the prices. There's no budging. There's no movement. Y'all want what I got? Y'all want what I have? I'll pay the price that I paid. Simple and plain. That's all I'm saying. To start off with, Drea the Virgo. She's been pushing. Drea is awesome. Go in there, fix everything. She's the truth. You see my push. You see how I'm dropping. You see everything. Even you see my uh, website. Make sure I tap in with the ODM website, odmslimshow.com. Got merch, no custers, anti-custer. Come on, cuz. Stop playing. I got nice as hell, soft as hell shirts. Come on. Straight up. Make sure I tap in, tap in, tap in. You want to know who built this for me? My boy Tony. Tap it with Tony. Tony's the truth. He got a lot of knowledge about a lot of different things. Tap in. Y'all want to be a part of my community, part of my peoples? It's how I build. Let's build, baby. You know what I'm saying? Let's build. It's your boy ODM Slim from the ODM Slim Show. Welcome. What's the deal, you two? What's the deal? It's your boy ODM Slim, and I'm back again with another one. We got a lot of things to do, a lot of content to get into, so let's get into this content. First, uh, Sauce Walker Crash No Jumper. Boom. I'm going to do that one next. But before I got into that one, I wanted to do this one real fast because uh, Sauce Walker going on back on fig is something that I can um, attach myself to and get a part of. So Sauce Walker get on back on fig, it was a major move. Respect. Um, title reads, Sauce Walker on police chase that led to a major car crash. Slapping boxing, Maxo, Cream. Uh, checking in and more. Let's get into it. Back on Fig, man. You feel me? We got a special guest with us here. We got Sauce Walker, the oh, motherfucking man. legend. Shout Don't worry about Walker. nothing. You oh, know what I mean? And everybody, keep me telling you about these shout outs, bro. So first of all, it's to show respect when, when certain things are brought up. So I don't be, uh, I don't touch myself to all these community, different places, but you shout out to them because it, it, we, we're in a space where everybody can be doing the metaverse. So I ain't doing no hate, no, no LBG or no anybody. So every time I say shout out, it means that this, I'm giving respect to them and I'm saying whatever this person say because I'm not going to take whatever that person say on my platform, period, point blank. So that's what it is. Trevor, my guy, how you doing, bro? I ain't seen you in a minute. It's my guy, man. He always in places everywhere, all the stuff, you know what I'm saying, all of the events and all the stuff. So salute to Trevor, bro. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. I got my boy oh, yeah. Trev over here sitting with me, man. Talk we finna to do it up today, man. Yeah, what's the deal, like, man? How you spilling, King, man? man? I'm just dripping how I'm dripping, pimping how I'm pimping. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, and I love that. I love say. that you gave me the left. You feel me? The left. Let's say it. Come on. I see this going to be a fly with already, baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm dripping how I'm dripping, pimping how I'm pimping. Left is a hard man. I mean a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? That's how I love, man. That's how I love. Come yeah. on, we all kings. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. all going to shine yeah. together. We going to grind together. Man, you well, know honey. I was real worried about your motherfucking ass flipping over cars and doing all the whole little shit, man. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Yeah. You know, we, we had to get through. It's, it, by the grace of the universe, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm healthy, I'm alive, and I'm still wealthy. And um, 100%. By the grace of the universe, I'm healthy, I'm alive, and I'm still wealthy. 
straight up. I didn't get caught, you know what I'm saying, with what I would have got caught. Yeah. I prefer right. to lose my car than to lose a lot of freedom over being in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know what I'm saying? 100%, Sauce. 100%. I respect that. Um, I had a couple car crashes to where I did, did some crazy stuff and, and really did some things. Now, now it's like, all right, you know what I'm saying? It's... Nigga, getting get life together, all this type of stuff. So it's like, I, I ain't trying to do that no more. But I respect it because um, you're wrong place, wrong time. You don't know what could happen. You know what I'm saying? People could have died, all type of stuff. That's the total truth. Saying, so. Yeah. I mean, and yeah. I'm, I'm saying that to say because I, I did the same thing, but I lost my own. Well, it's still, it's detached. It's, I mean, right. it's attached. It's here. All right. I did the same right. motherfucking thing. You know what I mean? And that was bad, but they the tried to pull me over. On my motorcycle, dog. Oh, it's different. And then I it got did. on. Got off on. Uh, Fucked up. Fucked up. Flying in the air. Ooh. You know, that's what's so, and I, 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 I'm sorry to hear that came with you, Ooh. you know what I'm saying? They ain't didn't never make you a greater warrior. You know what I mean? But at the same Now, that's what powerful, that's powerful right there, bro. You losing your arm and all that ain't never made you a greater warrior. Made you a greater warrior. That is powerful, bro. That is deep, King. Oh, my mama, that's deep. I, I, I like that. Same time, though, like, that's why I be scared of them two-wheel bikes. I got a three-wheel bike, the K&M. So I got that three-wheeler. Uh, three-wheeler. <laughs> so I said, hold on. I got a three-wheeler, bro. I got a stability. Hold on. t I ain't trying to be like you, King. You know what I'm saying? Hey, King. The most stability of not, the, right. not, not going down. It's like one of my OGs always told me, one thing about them bikes, down. no matter how good and how talented right. you is on them bikes, you're going, go you're going down. You're, you're going, going down. down. One day you're going down. It just yeah. depends on how bad the, down, the go down is. Oh, wow. everything. It's is mandatory. Awful. It's inevitable that it's you inevitable. get that concrete. But you make it, it make you respect it, though. Right, right, it make you right. respect it though. But I did do some dumb shit though. But when I was looking at you, I'm like, oh, he got away. And he, good, and he looking good, I dog. Made it. That, <laughs> that's what people, people wasn't yeah. understanding how detrimental that aspect of it was. Like making up out of a car crash going 150 miles per hour, car flip four times, and then you just walk out immaculate. Like, you know. Wow. Did that motherfucker eject you out that bitch or what? Yeah, man. <laughs> that's thing. We're going to listen, bro. Everybody, man, look, God is real. Jeez, flip four times, flip four times and no scratches. It's uh, it's uh, it, 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 it unbelievable. I didn't get ejected out the vehicle, but the the way that the car was flipping in the air, it's like my body came up because I had no seatbelt on. So it's like my body just came out the driver's seat, and I was just like a floating ball in the middle. And it's, um, however it worked out, when the car was in the air flipping, I end up like sitting on the roof, like on the inside the car. Like, you know, you're supposed to be sitting in the seats. Like, my body did this, turned around. Now I'm sitting on my roof, like where my sunroof is. That's where I'm sitting. My hands is on my on my roof, and I'm grabbing a, the uh, the coat hangers. Like, you know, you got the coat yeah. hangers. Like, I'm just... Whoa! Damn! That ain't say, I don't know how my body was in the air just spinning. This nigga is immaculate. He's watching it. I'm like, oh, my God. Then they hit the sun. Ah, gonna, whoa, Jesus! Then how do I get away with the stuff? What happened? Like this, and I end up filling the coat hangers, and I'm grabbing it. And now the, the car, then it hit it flips, then it hit the ground. When it hit the ground, like I I, I got on the top of the roof in the air, but now it's on the ground, and I'm holding the shit, and now I got my feet. It's like on a dash, like on the, you know how the window, your window go up? It's like it's like being in a room, they do the upside down room type shit. Uh -huh. So now my feet on the windows, my hands on the dash, and the car is on the, on this, the car is on the roof of it, on the ground now, uh, fish tail and twirling on. And all you see is the sparks coming from all the windows and the car, the scrap metal and everything, just going over all my legs and shit. And I could feel the sparks everywhere. And it's like a movie in slow motion. Do, 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 do. I'm just. 
Not to be laughing. <laughs> that music like, is funny. Huh? Like, uh, I swear I can't make this shit up. Bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Man, that's, 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 that's some crazy shit. Just to be in that situation is crazy. Woo! Get in the music like, fuck, like, I should've fuck, did that I just shit. fucked up my car, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, they were like behind you or you had made oh it in the clear? God. Uh, at that point, I was like, it's sure, was super in the clear. I really thought it was something else than what it was. I thought, I, it didn't even look like it was the louds at first. I thought it was just like some random weirdo shit. So I was just like, okay, let me just speed up in case some motherfucker trying to over to just do some weird shit, take some pictures or just follow me or some shit like that. I, don't, I ain't know. It. So by the time they got up and hit the lights, Pop I'm out See, that's what I'm saying. Pop Rossi get dangerous, bro. Motherfuckers get paid these motherfuckers all this money to do all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? And that shit be getting dangerous, you know what I'm saying? Because people trying to like, man, let me hurry up and get up out of here, man, or this and that. And they be trying to take these pictures and stuff, chase you down, all type of stuff. It be crazy. Then you got hip hop police trying to kill you. Whoa. No. But you know, I, I, I forgot the area I was in. It was just, it turned out to be what it was. Man, were you here with us in LA? Man, how LA treating you, man? Oh, man, I love LA. I love California. I always have a good time when I'm here. Um, oh, that's good stuff. Got a lot of love and honor in the streets of California, you know what I'm saying? From the West Sides to Compton to, the, you know, Nicholson Gardens to. The 60s, the hundreds, like you just got a lot of friends. Like shout out oh. to my boy Chef Grizzly, man. I can't wait to go. Shout out my nigga Chef Grizzly, man. Chef Grizzly got them lamb going crazy. Shout out my nigga Chef Grizzly. You know what I'm saying? Grew up at that Hundun. You understand me? Shout out to my nigga Chef Grizzly, man. On everything. Let me know some sauce. Sauce be in the trenches. Let me know some. Shout out Chef Grizzly, man. The Rasta Pasta, man. I'm ganging him. Go to Grizzly, give me some of that good food. I like that, huh? Right. I like you say you like that coming to LA and the street and you writing and all that shit, man. Yeah. How you feel about niggas be talking about nigga? You gotta check in, nigga, when you get out here. Like, um, do you think so that's that. a thing or do you think that's a respect thing? It's a respect thing. It's not. It, it, it's. Hold on. It's an out of town nigga from Texas. Let this man speak right quick, cause I, I listen. I need this clip for sure. What did he say? Not, it don't make you less of a man to say that I went to another man's territory, another man's terrain, another man's kingdom, what? another man's uh, backyard. What? And to give a, a, a gesture of respect and fellowship and also awareness of letting it be known, hey, I'm in your town. Is your, you got any of your good people around that may have some suggestions for how I can make some money or where should I go or what's safe right. what's not. That's what I'm talking about. It's networking. You check it in because first of all, I'm in town and I don't want to be bumping into the wrong people that you, you probably can, can. I bump into some nigga that's, that's your peoples. Now, me calling you and trying to get you to go off me, I could have been at that. I could already been all oh, my nigga sauce in town. You know what I'm saying? Woo, 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 you know what I'm saying? This and that, boom. Put some of my good peoples around you. You know what I'm saying? Look, bro, it's my boy. Y'all put him around you. You know what I'm saying? He going to sit around you all day. He got your back. Come on. Come on, that shit makes sense, bruh. I say, where should I eat? Where should I shouldn't eat? Who do or, or, or y'all, who are your resources that y'all cool with in y'all city to where right. if I go to these same places, I may have the, the enjoyable experience that I originally came here for. Right. And especially, and it's two, it's two different dynamics of it. It's the one dynamic of you coming to LA and you plan on actually being active, like being mm -hmm. involved in the activities, going to the ghettos, going to these hoods, 100. meeting these people, meeting the community, going to these video shoots, these these hood restaurants, or these Hawkins chickens. 100. And, uh, uh, what I, Shout out Hawkins. Chicken or the other chicken, Roscoe's, Roscoe's and shit. all that type of shit. Like, you can't be in those areas and, and communities anywhere in the world without knowing people that's from the source. For real. Right. Because then you are outside of you. you. You look like a target. You look like fresh meat. You look like a, 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 a wandering stranger. Mm -hmm. And now, true enough, yes, you can go to anybody's city in any state, stand on your own 10 toes, bring your firearm, bring your protection, and be willing to contest anything that's brought up to you within a line of disrespect or contesting your, or contesting your manhood or your safety. But at the end of the day, you're still at a disadvantage and you're putting yourself in a position of harm's way of confusion where you just, just simply could have you know, hollered at a nigga and made the connections. And at the same time, it doesn't make you less of a man to respect 
another person having power in, in, in their backyard because you should have power in your backyard what? as well. And you right. get more power by being associated with people in other states and other cities, other foreign lands and getting their power behind you because they respect you and they love you as a, as a, as a human. That's right. how you, that's what the government do. That's what countries do. Mm -hmm. They create. That's what the government do. That's what countries do, bro. That's how we split the political power in different places. That's how you do that. His power plus my power plus this power. We can do this and that. So we get to these niggas. Guess what? We got this type of army. Cause we all connected. What are you talking about? That's, oh my God. Listen, sauce. I'm going to give you two more seconds. I'm going to cut this show. But this is it, bro. This is exactly what I want to hear. That type of stuff. They knew hey, I was peace going to It used to be a time where Americans couldn't go to fucking Ukraine or Asia or wherever the fuck because the the, the, the treaties and the, the, the agreements wasn't correct. The trade right. lines wasn't correct. We don't have, a, it doesn't make enough sense leverage wise between my country and your country as far as whether you have to offer us to, in shipping, whether we have to offer you in, in, in manufacturing, labor, technology, oil. Let me go ahead, let me go ahead and finish this off. This is what he telling y'all, bro, on my mama. Checking in is a way of communication, the way of putting on plays, the way of coming to another man's terrain and understanding and moving carefully, straightly, and, and safely without having to worry about nothing. That's what it is. And now if I got power, he got power in Houston. We got power out here in Los Angeles. My people got power in the Bay Area. My people got power in, in Texas. I mean, uh, 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 Dallas. My people got power in North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida. Now all this power connect to ODM Slim. Guess what? ODM Slim got a lot of power. His reach go. His reach can reach. So nigga popping that high power stuff in Texas. ODM can reach. He got sauce to slap a nigga down. Oh, I call nigga Florida. He got Dream Four slapping nigga down. Niggas popping that shit in San Diego. I got a hoodie for the hood slapping nigga down. Nigga talking that shit in Taiwan. I got China Mac slapping nigga down. What are you talking about? That's reach, power within the kingdom, being people. You know what I'm saying? Nigga go to New York. I got power out there. People slapping nigga down. You know what I'm saying? Man, listen, it's ODM Slim. Out the mud entertainment. I just had to do this part, man. You already know. Let's get it, man. Mud gang, mud members. Let's keep it pushing.